Iowa, if you are found guilty of child endangerment resulting in a death, you may not serve the maximum 50 years in prison. Now, two state representatives are filing a bill asking that at least a minimum amount of prison time be served. CBS 2 News reporter Steffi Lee is here to show us why some families say this bill is desperately needed. Steffi? Karen, Jerry King lives in Arkansas now, but still feels close to the case she fought for in the Lynn County Courthouse just a few, year, few years ago. She came here to speak with us about this bill, saying the chance of seeing the two behind her granddaughter's death go free creates even more pain. I refuse to believe that her, her death would be in vain. Jerry King says not a day goes by where she doesn't remember her granddaughter, Cameron Schlitter. Her little Cameron is gone and uh, at the hands of someone else. Battered and bruised, the 18-month-old died from head injuries in 2010. Our hearts are so broken. After weeks of emotional testimonies, a jury convicted her father, Soraya, and his ex-girlfriend, Amy Palmer, of involuntary manslaughter and child endangerment resulting in death. Under Iowa law, both face 50 years in prison. But the reality of it is, short of a first-degree murder conviction in the state of Iowa, everybody gets out of jail at some point in time. So every year, Jerry's family relives their nightmare after receiving this envelope from the Iowa Board of Parole. Our heart skips a beat and we hold our breath until we open it up and we see the word deny in there. State representatives Ken Reiser and Dave Dawson say that's an injustice. I was kind of surprised to find out that here in the state of Iowa, if a child is killed by shaking or, or beating, that uh, the person convicted would be eligible for parole immediately. They're filing a bipartisan bill requiring anyone convicted of this felony to serve at least 35 of the 50 years before the chance of walking free. To me, a prison sentence has lost its value and reason when it becomes more about an incentive. Jerry says nothing will ever take away her family's pain but not having to worry will give them some closure. Peace of heart uh, for future families that will have to face this, unfortunately. Representatives Reiser and Dawson hope that after filing this bill, it will reach a subcommittee, then all the way to Governor Terry Branstad's desk. Steffi Lee, CBS 2 News, Live at 5.